start? Well, I think, as I testified in December, we've had uh, game content guidelines at Nintendo uh, since 1985, and we have uh, enforced them um, over uh, that period of time. Um, certainly, it's our intention at Nintendo to continue to uh, maintain those guidelines, particularly with respect to Nintendo. Uh, as far as... Let me just interrupt. And it was on the basis of those guidelines that you decided not, for instance, to produce or market Nitra. That's correct. So I think we will continue the guidelines uh, in the future. Mr. Volkwein? Uh, guidelines are a good way for a company to understand who it is a, as a company. And I couldn't imagine that Sega wouldn't want guidelines in place internally, regardless of an industry-wide rating system that would describe what types of games we want on our platform, especially since we, uh, in many respects, have some, uh, some ability to impact that. And do I remember correctly that, that, that you, both companies established uh, advisory boards to assist you in the uh, construction and implementation, again, of your own content guidelines. Beyond the rating system, we're talking about the initial decision about what you're going to produce and then how you would rate it and market it. A am I correct that you've been involved with outside uh, people in constructing these? I, I think we have, from time to time, uh, consulted with uh, outside uh, experts. Uh, but in the main, the guidelines that uh, we have developed over a period of time and that are set forth in the written statement that I filed with the committee in December uh, really reflect uh, our own internal uh, view of what uh, we feel is appropriate. Okay. Um, let me uh, go on to another area. Mr. Heisting, it, it was not clear from your testimony, how the industry is proposing to handle product that is already on the market. So I ask you now whether the industry will be submitting all existing products or some existing products for um, rating, or uh, in the case of uh, Sega or 3DO, which has had its own rating system for re-rating under the new system. Uh, regarding existing products, um, as we said in the beginning, our goal is to get a rating system in place as soon as possible. Um, our industry is one that can be characterized that when a new title is launched, 70% of the volume of that title, 70% of the sales occur in the first three months. So for us to have the most influence on the products that are being consumed, um, we are targeting to get the system in place as soon as possible. Um, there are probably a, 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 a few titles any one of us might find is uh, you know, not suitable for a very young child to play. Um, in total, there are probably four or 5,000 titles in the marketplace today, and there are 50,000 retail outlets. Um, for us to try and go back and rate those products, sticker all those products, would put such a burden on ac accomplishing what we're trying to do for the next six months, it, it's virtually impossible. Well, let, let me uh, alter it this way. I, I understand what you're saying, that there are thousands of titles out there. But I do think in terms of the, uh, the credibility of the whole approach, and again, I appreciate the distance we've come here, that um, it, would, it, would, it would really help if, s for instance, Mortal Kombat is still out there. It, it seems to me that it ought to be um, re-rated. Um, versions of Night Trap, I gather, are still available in the 3DO system. Uh, Lethal Enforcer is out there. There are a certain limited number of uh, games that have attracted attention, and I, I wonder if uh, I'd ask you, Mr. Volkwein and Mr. Lincoln, whether you would consider submitting those that have become the obvious uh, subject of public interest uh, without asking you to submit every title you ever marketed or sold uh, to this uh, new rating system. Mr. Lincoln? Well, I think as I've previously testified, and as you've pointed out, Nintendo does not do Night Trap, uh, right. and uh, in the case of Mortal Kombat, we um, eliminated the fatality moves. We did uh, introduce a toned-down version of Lethal Enforcer. Um, I would think that the way to handle this would, I think it's important that we do everything we can to get the rating system uh, in place as quickly as possible. So. Um, 
that's the primary goal. But I think that certainly it, that this issue that you've raised, if we're talking about a limited number of titles, uh, is something that uh, perhaps the committee could address. I think what Mr. Highstand was referring to was just all of the gains, but... Yeah, and I accept that. I understand that the, uh, the uh, effective impossibility of doing that. Mr. Volkman, how about yourself? Would you uh, uh, agree to submit Mortal Kombat for rating under the new system? I Mortal Kombat is a title uh, from a uh, uh, third party so that we must work with them and uh, we would certainly pass on your remarks and uh, 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 use whatever influence we can on that. I think the, uh, the remark Jack made is the uh, central one. Uh, to the extent we look back rather than forward, we're going to uh, lose time on putting this uh, system in place in time to get the majority of sales. Uh, it's my understanding that uh, uh, sales in the United States uh, for Mortal Kombat have already sold through uh, upwards of three million uh, titles. So I would submit that uh, going backwards now to uh, to uh, sticker what is left is not uh, perhaps the best use of our time. Uh, we have uh, promised earlier and we will resubmit uh, uh, our Night Trap title uh, for a review and choose whether to remarket it or not. One of the things I think we will be discussing as an association is perhaps an older title that is going to be remarketed or relaunched should be the subject for uh, consideration for uh, going back to a rating, uh, rating system. Yeah, I, I hope you will do that. I understand that in, uh, that night. I'm sorry that Mortal Kombat was you produced as part of an arrangement with a third party. I believe they're a part of your association. Am I not? That's correct. correct. So I hope you will work with them if there are contractual arrangements or they're not uh, to see if um, th that's become such a symbol of the public's concern. And it's a real concern. And I think one of the best ways to get this uh, system going in a credible way, in addition to all that you've done, is to, is to put that one um, into the new system. I, I assume, but I'll just ask you the question, it's your business, not mine, that, that Mortal Kombat will continue to sell in substantial numbers as this goes on. That it, that, uh, although I know the business changes dramatically, that this w is so hot a title that uh, there will be continue to be substantial sales, maybe not another three million, but substantial sales. Uh, uh, different than other media forms, we have very short life cycles in our industry. Um, we, we can launch, Electronic Arts can launch a, a title like John Madden Football 1994. <coughs> the minute uh, the football season is over, that product stops selling. The minute that uh, uh, we announce plans for John Madden Football 95, it discontinues. The same thing uh, I think is, is true here with Mortal Kombat. If, 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 um, if I had to guess off the top of my head um, what percent of the total volume that's going to be sold on Mortal Kombat 1 has already occurred. I would say it's well over 90 percent. Okay, I hope you'll go back to that and see if you can help us get this started with that kind of, um, uh, that kind of strength. And it l leads me to this uh, final question. The committee has uh, the five major hardware manufacturers. I wonder if each of them are going to require all of their licensees to submit uh, products for rating. D do you know, Mr. Heiston? Um, we, we haven't posed that question to each um, company. The, the decision to date has been to define this thing and get them to support it. Right. Um, I think our committee and our industry can't dictate to any individual company what they have to do. <coughs> um, both Sega and Nintendo have said that um, moving forward, um, they would recommend, they would um, make as part of the license agreements that people do display the licenses prominently. Um, you know, whether, uh, whether they could guarantee to you today someone that they've ha in, had an existing agreement yeah. with that's in effect, um, uh, they can't go back and say the agreement is null and void now, you have to do this. But these companies are powerful enough that <coughs> if Howard Lincoln or Ed um, picked up the phone and said, we want you to rate the product, I think in most instances people are going to do it. Yeah, exactly. Y 